The Privileges Committee at a closed-door meeting first gave the opportunity to Ayahuasca Central MP Henry Corte to explain why he absented himself from Parliament for 15 days without the Speaker's permission. But Adjoa Safo did not show up either in person or virtually. Henry Boachie Adam is a member of the committee. According to the report we received from the clerk of the committee, who actually served on the, the member at his place of abode, uh, he's a pigeonhole. He served also from the ministry where there is a minister of state. So it's not it's on leave. It's on leave. So uh, that is what is actually holding the committee to take a decision. If, because it's, uh, apart from leaving the president, who can who actually appointed her as a minister, who can fire her that today or tomorrow? But we being the committee, we have to report to the house. On the floor of the house, Minister for Interior, Ambrose Derry answered questions on the non-payment of compensation to victims of the Idra unrest a year after the committee's report was published. Mr. Speaker, I am informed that the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice has received a medical report from Governor Chief Teaching Hospital on the injured persons to determine the parameters due the victims. Notwithstanding, the Office of the Attorney General has requested victims to provide them with all medical receipts on which they are awaiting response. Mr. Speaker, the three victims will be compensated when all administrative processes are completed. Meanwhile, Mr. Speaker, permit me to inform the House that families of the two deceased persons have been compensated. He also responded to the issue of the lack of logistics for the security detail of MPs. Available police records indicate that 62 police guards assigned to MPs are yet to be issued with pistols. This is attributed to the fact that there have been exponential demand for the supply of arms from the Army of the Police to the police personnel assigned to the bodyguards for MPs, judges of the Supreme Court, ministers of state, and senior police officers. Efforts are, however, on the way to procure additional arms and ammunition for the Ghana Police Service to enable them cater for the remaining 62 bodyguards and others assigned to the judges of the Supreme Court, ministers of state, and senior police officers. The minority also at a press briefing called on government to accept full responsibility for the resort to an IMF program. President Nana Dudankwa and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia should take full responsibility for incompetently managing the economy to suffocating debt level which has necessitated the retreat for us to request an agreement with the International Monetary Fund for the restructuring of our debt. As they take full responsibility, they should. They should also take responsibility for their reckless and irresponsible borrowing and unjustified profligate expenditure which has led us to the journey of retreat. From all indications, the Privileges Committee of Parliament, who has been tasked with the responsibility to scrutinize the matter of absentee MPs, the three MPs who have breached that constitutional provision on absenting themselves a number of times from Parliament without the Speaker's permission, have not been able to take a firm decision as yet. They have seven more days to think through and convene to take a decision on the Honorable Adjoa who has on a number of occasions failed to appear before the committee, the Honorable Henry Corte and the Honorable Kennedy Ohine Japon. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Menzopoko.